In this demonstration, we will show you how Puppet Enterprise allows you to easily and quickly define and maintain a desired state in your environment by automatically delivering applications based on system parameters. Sound complicated? It doesn't have to be. Let me show you how. Here, we will build two small Linux VMs inside of Amazon's EC2 environment. The first will be built in the US West 1 availability zone, and the second will be built in the US East 1 availability zone. These systems will function as web servers, and we will use Puppet Enterprise to make that happen. Now inside of Puppet Enterprise, you can see we've defined two node groups called East and West. A node group is how you group similar systems in Puppet Enterprise, and it is one way you can assign configuration options to these systems. But how will Puppet Enterprise know which systems go in which group? That's where facts come into the picture. Facts are snippets of information about managed systems that are shared with the primary Puppet server. Every managed system has a basic set of facts that are kept current within Puppet, and you can extend these with modules from the Puppet Forge or by writing your own custom facts. But for this demonstration, we're going to make use of the domain fact. Based on which domain our AWS servers are placed in, Puppet will automatically assign the server to the appropriate group. Any newly built managed systems that match the rules for a node group will automatically be added in the future. Now we will complete the setup by telling Puppet Enterprise what to do with systems in each node group. First, we'll select the Nginx class for the West node group, and then we will select Apache for the East node group. Any systems that fall into those respective node groups will automatically receive the configurations that we've selected. By default, Puppet Enterprise will continuously enforce your desired state of configuration every 30 minutes, but you can change that to any interval or run Puppet manually. When we do so here, Puppet will automatically install the appropriate packages to reach our desired state. And now we can see that the servers each have their specified web servers installed and running. Recall that Puppet will automatically group systems according to your rules and apply the desired configuration to any new systems in those groups. This simple example only set up a few sample web pages, but you can quickly and easily scale this example to a more robust configuration that can encompass multiple software packages across different operating systems, define and create users, and perform system hardening to meet your organization's compliance requirements, and much, much more. We've shown you a brief example of how Puppet Enterprise can help you quickly and easily create a reusable configuration that can be automatically applied to keep your environment secure, compliant, and up-to-date. If you'd like to learn more about Puppet Enterprise, let us know. We'd love to talk to you.